Morning, Ben. Morning. This is the first time he's left his house all summer due to the pandemic. <laughs> that is not true. <laughs> I go to work every day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, anyway, we got uh, the whole ABH fleet here on this driveway. Henry won't put his sticker on. We don't know why. We're maintaining our social distancing. That's right. Am I lined up, bro? Sure, it looks good. Looks great. Uh, you gotta go almost all the way down. Oh, there, oh, 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 okay, okay. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, a little more. Right there, I could probably get it off. So here we are, we made it. As you will notice, Henry's truck is not here. He parked in a different locale. We are getting hooked up and ready to go. Yeah. First ever, well second I guess. First ever with ours. Trailer hunt. We're gonna... Uh, with our trailer edition. We're gonna, Taj Mahal. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna have our welcoming beverage and then get Henry's truck and wander off into the great unknown. Oh, well we have way more than that. Okay, there's a million little bugs, but check this out. We're all hooked up. Look at this sweet trailer. Look how heavy duty everything is. Henry, you spoiled yourself. Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. this thing will last a heck of a long time. Yeah, it's good. Well, if you're gonna, if you're gonna get into elk farming, you need a trailer anyway. Yeah. So we got uh, Henry's quad and trailer, brand new trailer. The old rancher and the old, or second of the tub trailers, and then Ben's old rusty. Needs a new paint job. Needs a new paint job, but that's uh, World War Two as well. <laughs> Okay, so I think we've settled on here for our camp because we need a big flat area and I think this is like the only one. So, it's gonna be sweet! So we just walked this block and it looks pretty promising. There's a slough down that way. There's actually sloughs all around us. So we're gonna go set up our tent. And then hopefully we can hunt the evening cool down. So we've all packed up, we're getting ready to go find some moose. Aaron's got his call all ready to go. Yeah, I think I got everything. Yeah. I designed it so that it's easy to carry. Perfect. Um, yeah, we'll see how it works. Yeah. Burnt in our... I think. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, put your head forward and then... Yeah. 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 Well, we'll see if we can find a moose today.
First morning ever in our tent. Yeah, it's nice. And we're cooking on our stove. Slowly. Uh, yeah, it goes really slow. I think we have a uh, junk wood, so probably our fault. We're learning. We're learning everything. Yeah. Henry gave up. That's going to be the experiment this afternoon. So we're going to ditch all of our junk wood and then go get good stuff. It might get too warm in here, though. Let's put it nice, do all the right things. Do all the right things. Well, it's horrible now. <laughs> yeah. Picking it off the ground. It's true. So, yeah, I went for a, a little walk, and uh, the dough was um, invisible. <laughs> invisible. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They do oh, that. They're so hard to see, right? You found a respawn point. Yeah, but um, yeah. So he took off, but otherwise there is something out there. So it's the second dough on the trip. So yeah, we spooked one yesterday when we were. Locating the other hunter making moose calls. Yeah, that was that was exciting. That was. It had us excited right away, but. And yeah, we were trying to have a conversation with him, and he kept he kept <laughs> saying the same thing. Like, <laughs> obviously, it wasn't a real moose. <laughs> so Green Daddy um, kind of let us down yesterday. Well, I guess it didn't. I tricked a I tricked a hunter. We're trying ABH hunting moose call 2.0. Milk Daddy. Milk Daddy. We'll see how good it works. It'll work. That used to be Ben's, uh, his drink schedule, water drinking. I'm supposed drinking. to drink water. Um, I filled this up once and it never emptied. So I figured I didn't really need it. So. And he, he went through all the trouble <laughs> of figuring out how but much But you can see, in... like, I guess it differs as it gets. Yeah. This actually doesn't hold four liters like what it says. So. Yeah. yeah. But we should draw a moose. If we draw a moose on it, we can probably ask a few more dollars. <laughs> <laughs> you did. Where'd it go? Really? <laughs> <laughs> that's a moose so nose. That's I don't a know moose how to nose. Draw a moose. <laughs> that's pretty good moose, I thought. Yeah, I'm not okay. drawing a moose on mine. Mm. It's got to get a moose first. Henry, you can draw the next moose. <laughs> so 
So here's our tent, uh, majority, like completed as far as we care to get it. We're missing half the ropes, but it's been so calm. There is no tempest to worry about. And yeah, off we go. Today's the day, boys. Guess what happened? Unbelievable. At least a six inch wave. And we got stuck. Like you're watching the whole everything around me about three feet was doing the wave. Henry went that way. And said not to. So Aaron tried to go this way. And I'm hit seer here slowly sinking into the bog waiting for them. And the bugs are atrocious. Yeah. You were you were actually uh, sinking in that yeah, bog when slowly. you slowly. Post bog. Okay, so there was the bog. Yeah. And it was, uh, I went through it first. But Cowboy yeah, Henry. it's basically yeah. a blanket. Trail of, blazer Henry. <laughs> a blanket of uh, weeds on top of a lake. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I got through luckily. Cause the one, at the one point there was like a six inch wave of muskeg uh. underneath the quad. And oh man, I was so scared. Cause they, then, the other guys were on the other side of the, the uh, bog. We were watching with yeah. bated breath. And then we went. We did. And I sunk out of sight at the end, which yeah. I think Ben... Well, I, I got them to go a different way, because it was... It was dangerous. worse. Well, it, it was, but you had trees to winch yourself out. That's true. And that's... I mean, that's fine when you got a working winch. We didn't know Ben's didn't work. Yeah, apparently mine doesn't work. <laughs> I totally forgot Henry doesn't even have one. So why are we even trying the bog? Yeah. That's what I said. I said, yeah. let's just go the other way. But no, you guys never listen to sound advice. Oh, that's because you, your insane. ways are like the easy, boring... Old man way. Safe I'm an old man. <laughs> <laughs> the only way to learn is through failure. Yeah. So if you never fail, you never learn. Okay. okay. So. Sometimes failure costs lots of money though. Yeah. That's, that's what we're worried about. Time, money. That's what I'm worried about. So Henry found a real birch. He's going to make a Just real leave call. Leave it open get your whole face in there. Yeah. Whole face in there? Okay, yeah. give, her, give her a go. <laughs> Does that work? Does it work? What do you mean? Well, how did it sound? That sound it looks right. cool though, through a nice little piece of birch tree. I'm not sold on the traditional proven birch bark method, personally. You're more of a slip and slide, or a crazy carpet. crazy carpet kind of guy? Yeah. Synthetics. This is not affected by weather or rain. It's 2020, like technology, come on. Yeah. This, this is impervious to everything that the birch bark call is not. I'm modifying it. Okay, the bugs. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. So the other two have gone off. The mosquitoes are terrible. The other two have gone off to see if they can cross where a beaver dam was, where we were calling that other hunter yesterday. And uh, I'm back in the cut block. I'm going to see if I can, you know, see a doe. Okay, we're debating driving across this, but that's pretty deep. Debating? We are going to drive. <laughs> that's like three feet deep. Oh man, you're nuts. A little. I think you're nuts, man. I think you are crazy. What? 
Oh my word. Oh. <laughs> Okay, yeah, it snapped for you, okay. Why did yours not snap? Because I'm got luck. All you need to do is get to here and you're done. I, I... Then we gotta get back. Yeah, well. Keep coming. Gee, look at this. Oh my word. <laughs> and now we're stuck on this side <laughs> of the creek. It's thing. like, it right there is like two feet deep right there. But there's a huge log in there. Yeah. It, the worst thing is that we lose our clutch, so it's not that. <laughs> That's a pretty big deal. <laughs> no, I know, I know. Okay, we took that quad trail for a really long ways, and uh, we made it to the middle of nowhere. This might be our final stand for the evening, but it looks, it looks pretty sweet. Like, I don't think people have been out here in a long time. This is as remote as we've been able to get so far. And there's swamp. Swamp all around us. So we've been calling. And walking. And 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 this is beautiful spot number 12. <laughs> Still nothing. We haven't seen a single deer. We don't know why. Not any sort of wildlife. We're starting to think that they are hibernators. So, something killed something over here. I don't know what that is. Pretty dark hair to be. To be deer. Almost looks like. What kind of hair is that, you think? I don't know. I was thinking mouse. Mouse? There it is. What's left of it? There's a wolf out here. Gotta find it. Oh, baby, get this gun. It's awesome. Uh, we spotted a wolf. Mm -hmm. so I was unarmed, running, both un of us. Unarmed. So I had to run through the trees to get to the quad to get my gun. So um, took my time when I came back because I did not want to make a noise, which of course I did. But I got to a, uh, a wood pile, like a, a burn pile, and I get up, got up on some, some logs so they don't make any noise. And then I uh, had their gun ready, went up, see two ears, two black ears, See his face clearly, just gray coming out of his yeah. his, his his snout, and um, I couldn't see his body, only his head. But I aimed on the grass where his center of mass should be, and uh, he saw me because he was looking straight at me. So did he turn towards you, maybe, mm. while he was looking at you? He might have been straight. Yeah, maybe. So maybe you missed that way. Should hit him in the head. Should have just gone. Oh, anyways, I'm really disappointed right now. Like. Um, what do you do? What kind of an opportunity do you ever get at doing that? Like, literally, he was 60 yards, 70 yards. You know what, I didn't even think we were going to see a wolf because we never do, and that's why I'm running around with just a backpack. Yeah. <laughs> but that was dumb too, like, if we had a gun up there... Mm -hmm. We would have nailed it. Yeah, because it was, I mean, all that time I had to film. Oh, it's a big just got, bushy tail. I gotta see the video later. Yeah, it's pretty but good. I saw it all, I came across, saw something huge, like, big. Yeah. And black. If right, right away I thought moose and I thought too small. Yeah. Maybe a calf. I can hear him. Oh, I see some moose. I hear moose. Those are wolves. They're howling in the distance now. Come out, buddies. Oh, 
Yeah, we want your friend. I'm so disappointed. That's kind of eerie. It's <laughs> really eerie, but... Hope you got lots of bullets. In I case the whole two. pack shows up. I got two. Oh, good. Yeah. Well, we could hang tight. Yeah. Maybe we can get one. Yeah. Okay. How was your evening hunt, Ben? Uh, very uneventful. That's weird. I heard a gunshot. <laughs> I wondered what it was. I was hoping it was you guys. It was us. Found out that it was, so that's pretty sweet. Saw the footage, that's... Timber must, wolf. Hey, very jealous I wasn't there with you guys that. We've been talking about a wolf for years. Like four here. years? At least. And uh, to finally see one is awesome. It's funny because after the shot, I heard like the whole pack going I should crazy. see if we got, because I, I said on here, hopefully we got that on here too, but hopefully it is. they were going insane. And I even texted my wife to see how crazy they were. And then, because you guys, the wolf spirit was... Like angered pack that Henry was <laughs> sending shots at him yeah, yeah. no I, I sent a good one at him um, yeah I'm still disappointed I didn't get him but um, it was close it must have been because uh, yeah I had him pretty good in my sights it's just I couldn't see his body a but yeah a was, guessing what, shot and then. what yeah that's crazy to see a wolf like Man, he looked really nice too. It's tough. It's tough in the moment, but you really gotta really? try and pick up on their body language, right? Yeah. You, and you, ha you can't. I should have. You can't let him him out. You gotta. You gotta take a shot. You gotta it. make sure you get a shot, and that's why. That's um, why the panic I sets in, right? That's waited, why you rush it. Waited on it, cause like, uh, like I have no idea. Maybe he was gonna just turn and run, right? You never know. Like I had him standing in the grass, um, and yeah. If you had been watching him like I had been watching him, you would have been probably more patient. Because yeah. he stopped, looked, smelled, walked, stopped, yeah. looked, smelled. Yeah. In the meantime, I had been like trudging through the bush. So I was like sweating <laughs> and like full of adrenaline. Yep. That's so cool. On a positive note, that wolf had to have been able to hear us moose calling. And it yeah. still wandered in there. So it's not like the calls can be too far out to lunch, right? But at the same no. time, Ben was just telling us that he could hear our moose calls from over two two miles away and we did no green daddy it was all just mouth really? and hands yeah. that time yeah. i heard it once and he oh. could hear quads from so yeah, far away the quads. like it's so dead silent out here there's n absolutely no wind at what's, all what's kind of frustrating about this is we've come out here i don't know how many times every single time we've come we've seen a moose we come moose hunting <laughs> we're gonna we see one on the drive moose. out we will see one on the drive one and then <laughs> just pull over and shoot an arrow and across the boundary yeah. that's where it's gonna be that's just typical oh well this guy stuck his outfit or tent in a tote for eight years, and I was wondering how to clean mold off of it. Oh boy. It is home day today. Yeah. Ugh. Time to take this beast down. Well, we know for one thing that that stove works really well. Yeah. You need some help, Henry? I think Henry had it to I like do. plus 40 in the middle of the night last night. I think it was hotter than that. It was perfect. It was unbearable. Wow, back to square one. Ready to go home. Yeah, yeah. And we deemed the trip actually a success. So we got to see a, a wolf. Yeah. Um, the main objective was completed. Uh, set up the tent and figure out how, what we need and, yeah. and how it works. And the stove uh, is adequate. We figured out how to fold it up properly, how to fold yeah. it back properly, get it all in the bags that it came in. Yeah. So that's good. It's everything that we dreamed of and more. <laughs> yeah. It is. Taj it's, tent it is. is beautiful. Pretty awesome. Yeah. So hopefully we have an uneventful journey home. I saw nothing for moose, but whatever. It was hopefully really just a tent. Hot uh, out. Yeah, it's hot. <laughs> yeah. 20 degrees. Not usual for us to be out hunting, gallivanting about in this kind of weather. No. But. The bugs make it. I always forget about the bugs, and then every yeah. time I'm rewi reminded of how terrible they are. So, but next up, 
Whitetail. Yeah. yeah. Or my moose. Or moose, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. I got my draw. So yeah, we got to get that. I might go check October, see if I can sling an arrow into one, and if not, sling back in November. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So long.